hey 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 hello guys how are you doing i welcome you to ifactner.com video tutorial series and uh, we have been discussing about computer networking and in this tutorial we will discuss how does internet work so guys uh, one of the main parts of the internet are the clients for example we people we have got our PCs, we have got our tablets, we have got our mobile phones, we have got our laptops, and uh, we have got our smart TVs, and we use the services of the internet. And uh, we also communicate with each other, but through internet but uh, now the question arises that we always represent this internet as a cloud so what is it what is in the in this cloud on the other side we have got servers which serves the client so there can be different servers they have there are a lot of servers actually so there can be web servers, SMTP or mail servers, social networking servers, video servers, for example, YouTube. And the example of social networking servers, uh, the sites which I've been using are Facebook, Google Plus, and so on and so forth. So we have got clients and we have got servers and these are two of the major parts of the internet but another important part of any network uh, is the communication media and for because internet is such a vast 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 network that it uses all kind of communication medias it uses fiber optics fiber optic cables copper cables satellite and all the other forms of communication media so uh, how does an internet work we take an example of a web server let's suppose we are a client and we would like to visit a page on ifectner.com on our browser we type in and we get a result how this all works we are a client we are connected to let's suppose a router and our router is connected to our ISP internet service provider and our ISP is basically connected, may, may be connected to a larger ISP, to a backbone service provider. And this service provider may be, backbone service provider may be connected to different other ISPs and this network works a lot. Uh, you, you have to enlarge this network so there can be different backbone providers there can be different smaller ISPs and a lot and lot and lot of clients and these ISPs they have got servers so let's suppose ISP 3 has got a web server in Florida and ifactner.com is hosted on that web server so when we type in our computer then these uh, requests they are converted into packets and they follow different paths these packets follow different paths uh, to reach to the server because they know the address each packet has got an address so our page has been divided into packets and when they reach at the server they are all combined 
the server interprets them uh, uh, the server uh, works on the request it produces a copy of a page and then it is converted into packets and those packets are sent back uh, 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 with the help of uh, uh, address to different ISPs in the world to different routes so usually they, uh, they, they try to follow the shortest possible path and then they reach uh, at the client and then we are able our browser uh, changes the computer language into the human readable language and then we are able to read the page so this is how internet in its simplest form works there are a lot of routers uh, uh, connected the a router is connected where the two networks uh, are joined together and there are there may be switches modems and different kinds of uh, not only fiber optics connections but uh, cable connections maybe some uh, uh, ISPs are connected uh, through satellite they are using satellite communication so it's a lot a lot 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 uh, of machinery in simple terms we have got clients we have got networking equipment plus communication media and we have got servers and these are the major components of internet and this is how internet works thank you guys for joining me for this tutorial i will see you in next tutorial take care bye bye